we see the birds, they're kind of a dead giveaway, the seagulls, mm -hmm. on where the, the stripers are feeding at. This fish finder costs more than my first car. Do a combo, like I said, I can float a live bait, y'all throw lures. See who gets bit first. These are literally bigger than the bass I catch in Nebraska, <laughs> and that's what we're using for bait. Yep. Well, folks, I guess it's uh, time I do a proper intro. I am in, where am I at? Tennessee, right? That's the state I'm in? I always get confused. I just fly places and don't remember where I'm at. But I'm in I'm in Tennessee, and I'm targeting... I think I have caught this fish. I lied, because on Twitter I said I didn't. I did, because I was in Lake Lanier this summer, and I caught fish. But these are, like, different caliber of stripers. This is, like, this is like big, big fish. So we're, uh, we're going to do... I'm just going to make this up right now. We didn't even discuss this, but it's the live bait versus artificial challenge. Because uh, we're throwing Alabama rigs, and you're throwing giant bait. What, what are those called? Skip Jack Herrings. Skip Jack Herrings. So, uh, and you said it's easier to feed them than it is to fool them. Which means I'll probably get my butt kicked here. But uh, this is what we're throwing here. I'll, I'll show you real quick. Actually, I'll have you show them. What are we throwing? What do we got here? Got the A-Rigs. Got the A-Rigs. So A-Rigs versus Skip Jack Herring. And you got a balloon. Yes. See, normally people use bobbers. But they don't make them big enough. But they don't make bobbers big enough, so we use balloons. That's yeah. that's the that's the key, right? So that's the plan for today. This is my first day here. I just flew in last night, so I, we're gonna throw an Alabama rig. Now, an Alabama rig, if you guys don't know what it is, umbrella rig, stuff like that. It's got a bunch of wires. It looks like you went into your mom's closet, grabbed a bunch of coat hangers, started bending them around, slapped some hooks on it, and that's what we're rolling with today. I've never actually got a fish on an Alabama rig before in my entire life. Never have. We're looking to do that today. What's the biggest striper you've ever caught? Fifty-seven pounds. 57 pounds. Okay. Bill. All right, so we made it to the spot. You got to introduce yourself. Who are you? I'm Captain Billy Davis with Melton Hill Bill Fishing Guide Service here in Knoxville, Tennessee. There you go, and you're the man. I try to be. That's what they say? <laughs> I try. Your information will be linked down below. If you guys want to come do what we're doing today, down below. Check it out. Introduce yourself. Who are you? Who's the crazy man that invited Flair <laughs> to Tennessee? We got to know. I'm Joseph Herrick of Catch Fish I Try, and literally I just try to go everywhere and catch fish. Like I just moved to Knoxville. Um, God, there's, the fishing around here is insane, and really just just uh, reached out to Flair, wanted him to come out and catch on, get on some of these big fish. I knew Billy was the guy to get us on him, so that's what we're out here doing. Yeah, I'm I'm ready for it. <laughs> that literally that had to have been a fish. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was 100 percent a fish. 100. That was crazy. We just it. Yeah. Oh, you hooked up? Oh gosh. There you go. That's that's what it looks like when you're uh, when you're on the school. Right right there. How big is it? What do you think? I think it's a striker. Hooked up with the first one of the day. Live bait live bait takes the uh, takes the first one. Oh my god, look how fat that thing is. What? What are these? Oh, yeah. Good lord. What? What is <laughs> Thing that thing literally swallowed a bowling ball. Yes. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Yeah, hold that thing up. What the hell? Where am I at? Oh my gosh. That's the first one too. We just got out here, found the school, and that's what happens. How much do you think that one weighs? He's probably right at 22 pounds. 20, 22? Yeah, he would normally be an 18 pounder, but... And the state records like triple that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Insane. Right. Absolutely insane. This is crazy. If I, I can't even imagine. I'm going to hook up one of these on a bass reel. <laughs> bass rod and reel. There's a good chance my, my gear is going to explode here. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Okay. I'm going to come to the back. So you can go, I'll go up to the front. Yep. 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 We're hooked up, boys. That was the first cast since we got back. Okay. Yep. Yep. Loosen the drag. Yep. Yep. Okay. Loosen the drag. You weren't kidding. You weren't kidding. Okay. Oh, God. This literally just destroyed my reel in like three seconds. It just ran. That was on the fall. So we saw him bust yeah. through the bam rig, let it literally sink all the way down to the bottom, and someone something cranked it. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> all right. Here we go, boys. 
This is insane. It literally feels like I'm fighting this bridge. It feels like I hooked the bridge and I'm just pulling on. Like it's, you can't, you can't do anything. Oh my gosh. What? What? This is absurd. This is absolutely absurd. My line's like toast. That was nuts. Yeah, now I see what you're saying about horsing him. It doesn't really work. Okay, yep, yep, he's not done. No, 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 he's not done. Yep. Listen to that. That is the worst sounding thing ever. Oh my god. <laughs> this is 20 pound line, guys, keep in mind. 20 pound. Okay, come on, fish. Come on, fish. I can't even tell. It doesn't even feel like I have a fish. It feels like I'm just bringing in the world's largest tree. What the hell is going on right now? Okay, yep, 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 yep. It's not done yet. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it, Bass Reel. You can do it. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, gosh, not bad. That's a good fish. Woo! Yes! Oh my gosh, that is a freaking football. Look at that, baby. My first one of the day. You said, what, it's 20, you think? About? About 20. First one on the Alabama ring. Now we're one for one. One live bait, one artificial. Woo! Perfect. Yes! Did it. Finally. That was absolutely unreal. We, we basically, you caught, you caught the one on the live bait. And then we ran back to the same school, and there was some busting, and you cast it. Yeah. And then I cast it pretty much on top, and let mine sink all the way down to the bottom. When I picked it up, there was a fish on it. That was the most unreal thing ever. You said it felt like a bridge. Yeah, it literally felt like I hooked it. This bridge, it felt like I hooked it, and it was just sitting there. Like, it took forever to get in. Oh, yep, well, this won't be the last time I come striper fishing. I tell you what, that was awesome. Yeah. No way. No way. Oh, yeah. oh shit. God dang, son. Yeah. You freaking nailed it. No way. Oh my gosh. No way. You freaking went back and just smoked it. Way harder than I should have. You freaking wailed on it. I just wailed on it. Oh, he's not big at all. No? Hey, it's a fish. Not a giant. We got one though. That's now we go. Oh, everybody's got a fish. Yeah. We're just taking turns catching these fish. I like it. It's awesome. We're doubled. Doubled up. We're doubled. Doubled up. We're doubled. Here we go. Here we go. How big is it? How big is it? Oh, we're on them now. Little... We're on them now. Look at that. You're doubled up. Two big ones. Two small <laughs> ones. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> these are chunkers though. Small fish need loving too, right? Uh, we, we're doubled again. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck? What? What I turned my camera What? Doubled up again. We just doubled up again. Yeah, we, we definitely found a school little whitey. Is that a little striper? Oh, that is a striper. I got a striper, and you got a white bass. See you later, buddy. Woo! All right, well, as you can see, we are on the dock. That's the boat. Look at that. I've never been in a boat like that. That's actually kind of a kind of a sick rig. But uh, we we're actually making a move. It's only 9 a.m. We we went out there and all three of us caught uh, bigger, I should say, stripers, and then and then we caught some some white bass and, and whatnot. But we're actually gonna make a move. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different now. So right now it was Alabama rigs, which is great. I mean that's what I came here for. We're headed to a different part of I believe this same reservoir, river, lake, wherever we're on. But we're going after big ones. So the one I caught was like 20. 20 or so we're going after 40 plus so double the size of what i just caught now to keep in mind the state record is like 66 pounds and uh and, and our guy today he actually just caught i think it was a 49 yesterday or two days ago so we're looking to literally double what i just caught and uh, i believe we're going to be using some live bait we might be throwing some alabama rigs i'm not really quite sure but we have to go catch we actually have to catch the bait those giant fish that you guys saw this morning that we are using for bait we're gonna have to actually go catch those and then use those so we're hoping we can get a giant one i'm really hoping I'm really, really hoping I can get a big one. Whether it's on an Alabama rig or a live bait, I don't really care. I just want to hold a giant fish in my hand. So that's what we're doing. That's a quick update for you guys. That is what we're doing. But remember, if you guys want to do what we're doing right now, I'll leave it down below. This guy's the man, nicest dude ever. He's going to put you on some big fish. So come check him out. But uh, that's basically it. Let's do it.
Uh, now this spot is, uh, this spot's the one we're going after the Giants. This is the mother, as you can tell, it's sunny, which don't think that's a good thing, but I don't think it's a terrible thing. I just think, I think they're kind of like bass, like low light, low light feeders, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to eat, eat one of those uh, Tennessee, what do they call them, Tennessee tarpon that we were catching? They look like tarpon. Tennessee tarpon. I think they're still going to eat them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get in this, and hopefully the next thing you guys see is me just just really getting it on a, on a big one. When the fish grabs it, slides. So yeah, you got, you got the resistance. homemade slip bobber. Take notes, guys. I want to see this, and I want to see some of you guys post on Instagram using this for bass. I want to see it right now. If a fish had a neck, right in the back of the neck. Six and a half hours later. Come on now, take it, take it, buddy. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Please, 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 do it, do it, do it, do it. Whoop. We're good. Well, as you just saw, no more fish were caught. Today was a little bit of a struggle on this a this afternoon. This morning was incredible, absolutely unforgettable moment. And I caught my big one on artificial as, a, as an Alabama rig, which was my goal because, you know, live bait's cool and all, but artificial, it, that's where it's at. But our time here on the water has come to an end. We fished from 9 a.m. to 7.03 p.m. with nothing. We, we caught the bait and then we came out here, but we had plenty of opportunities. It was, it was like the most incredible thing I've ever seen. It was, you would cast your balloon out and you know, your bait would kind of swim around, but then when you knew, you knew there were stripes around you when they would just start dogging down and freaking out. And so it was crazy because you could like anticipate the strike, but you know, our baits, we had bite marks on them. It was, everything was great, except we just didn't hook into any fish. It was, it was a great time though. Had a great, great experience this morning, especially, but tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be a little bit different. The plan tomorrow is, uh, is a uh, kayak. So that was actually the original plan when I, when I was invited here, uh, by Joseph and, uh, was to do kayaks. But today we were like, okay, let's, let's make sure we catch some fish. Cause you know, the fishing's been a little off. There's been some cold fronts. There's been a bunch of other stuff. So we were like, let's take the boat out make sure we catch some fish. And then tomorrow we can take kayaks. Well, tomorrow, here's the deal. We switched it up tomorrow. We're going after not gonna tell you what we're going after. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned to the next episode. It's a species that I've never caught before. Very, very excited because it's gonna be super cold. It's gonna be a high of 41 degrees, windy, and uh, I will be freezing because I didn't bring any like rain gear, or any any really warm anything. So I'll be freezing tomorrow. So if you guys are looking forward to that video, you'll see me in a kayak, which um, it's fun, but I suck at it. And uh, I'll be freezing and I'll be targeting a fish, a giant fish. Probably the longest fish I've ever caught in my life if I do end up catching this fish. Today was good. I caught my PB striper. I, I lied. On Twitter, I said that I was targeting two species I've never caught before. I caught these before. I, I kind of forgot. If you guys remember, I was in Georgia. We caught like three at one time, that video. Uh, those were stripers. These are like different. These are like different quality, different grade, like different just everything type of striper. This was this isn't crazy because the other ones I caught were on live bait. So this is my first artificial bait striper. It's my PB striper. So. It was a good time, but yes, remember, if you guys want to do this, I will link everything down below as well as Joseph's channel. He's going to make a video from this as well, but tomorrow's going to be the interesting day. So if you guys were kind of bored from today, which you shouldn't be, it was, it was an incredible day. It just wasn't a ton of fish catches, but it was, it was very exciting, very different. And I really do hope you guys do enjoy. And if you did, make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video and drop a comment down below. Where should I go next? I know I ask this in every video, but tell me because none of you guys told me to go striper fishing in Tennessee. What the hell? This is fun. Why didn't you tell me? So tell me where you want me to go next. You guys got to let me know where you want me to go next. But we're going to pack up. As you can tell, it's getting it's getting kind of dark. I got to go get this video cranked out and edited. Got to maybe probably going to go buy some warmer clothes so I don't get hypothermia tomorrow. And then prepare for the mega fish. The fish of a lifetime. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.